Hi, this is Nick Caraz of Clips and Handles, here to bring you a very exciting tutorial on working with M Glitter inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, you might have seen the beginner intro movie where we took a look at M Glitter, how we could easily change a blend mode and have it basically be composited on top of any footage that we wanted. So that's changing the blend mode to screen. In this movie, what I wanted to do is look at Adobe's built-in tracking and masking technology and how we can have this M glitter that you see here in the source monitor actually fall behind our subject. In order to set that up, I'm gonna actually drag my 4K M glitter into the timeline. So I'm just selecting it by its video and I'm putting onto the view to track. We can see if I hit the backslash key, I'm able to trim that clip back so it's the exact length of the clip underneath it, the Rita Bonita. But right now it's blocking the entire clip out. So I'm gonna select the clip and under effect controls in my opacity parameter settings, I'm gonna change the blend mode from normal to screen. And voila, we have some interactivity between the two clips. So I hit the space bar, notice that beautiful M glitter. So it is 4K, it was shot with a Phantom Flex camera in beautiful slow motion uh, to create these dazzling effects. However, in this particular example, it's really just blowing out my model. And I want to have most of the glitter lie behind the model and not in front of her. One thing I could do is bring down the opacity of this clip, but let us get on to tracking or basically creating a mask around our model. To complete this task, I'm going to first of all, copy my clip on video one to video three by option clicking it, dragging it to V3, and there you can see I have a copy. So I've got the original model clip on video one, the glitter on video two, and the same clip on video three. So you can see if I turn it on and off, I can see now the, track, the clips on video one and video two. To create the mask, I'm gonna to move to the last frame of this project, um, as in, if I take a look at it, we see more of her later on in the timeline. Okay, so I wanna to start to create the mask around this point. And under the opacity settings, uh, if I twirl down the parameter and effect controls, I've got my free draw bezier shape, and I'll click and start to make a mask. So it's gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna do it on the inside of the model here. So if I'm gonna to click to make a point, click to make another point. I'm gonna work my way around. If I click and hold, I get curves, just to keep in mind. And once I close this out, we're starting to see the footage underneath. Now, mask tools have a couple handy parameters. One here is mask expansion. If I drag it, I can expand that mask outward and see any potential flaws just here in my mask. So if I'm going too far, here's about where I want it to end. I can start to play with some of the points that I've made and drag them in in case I see areas of gray. So once I have this all set up, I wanna just track this mask I created on the last frame backwards. And this involves just going over here to the mask properties on the opacity settings and simply hitting the backward play button. Once I do, we can see how the track holds up. So it's slowly tracking this across the screen. I'm looking to see if there's any drift, which is possible just with the motion here, but seeing if there's any drift along her shoulders over here and potentially any drift that occurs on her hair as well. So I'm just seeing this mask and following it across, seeing how it holds up. You can see here that there is definitely a little bit of drift coming later. So I'm gonna stop this track and then move to the last good frame, which seems to be around here. And any changes that seems to be taking place here with the mask, I can just start to compensate. So keep in mind that I've, it's been tracked forward to this place and that drift, I'm just taking care of by adjusting these points. While this is a little bit of work, if I continue to play forth, I was able to fix some of those problems of that drift that I saw there. It seems to be tracking quite well. And if it starts to occur again, which it is, I'll just hit stop go to my last kind of good frame, which is around here. And again, just on the mask, do a little bit of compensation. Great, so my track is now complete. Took a couple more steps here, but I've got a fairly decent track here. And if I just click off, we can see what we have. All right, we've got that mask and you can see the particles intertwined with the shot, which is just what we want. Now there's a few things we can do here in terms of feathering, so if I select the above clip, notice that there's a feather option here where I can feather out the edges just a little bit more to bring that inward, but then compensate by expanding the mask out. 
So within a couple seconds, we get these particles kind of intertwined with our shot. Now there is some work that we can do a little bit more here if I take the mask and expand it here with her hair that's included. So I can just track this outward by dragging here for any of that hair compensation so, I, so it's not so much involved. And then just start this track again. And within a couple minutes, I've got a fully integrated shot here with my model as well as those particles. Just to finalize this, I'm gonna select the M glitter and actually drag it on top. And let's just put, fool around with this additional shot. So on the above shot, I'm gonna to go to the motion tab and first of all, scale this down a bit. So it's kind of like an above overlay. I'll also choose to rotate that and then just scale up any changes that I make. And as a last thing, just so that they're not all moving at the same speed, let me bring down the opacity. And then on the above clip, hit Command R Let's make it 40% speed. So now we have a much longer clip. But if I play this back, we've got two beautiful glitter effects working here across our model. And that's how easy it is to get up and running with working with M Glitter and using Adobe's built-in tracking technology to sort of combine that with our clips to make these beautiful, elegant shots. I'm Nick Haraz. Thanks for watching.